Plants are super important for the environment, right? Absolutely. They are what sets the earth apart. What do you mean? Well, what makes Earth so special is the ability to sustain life. And we couldn't have life without plants. Very true. Plants are considered a critical resource because of the many ways they support life on Earth. It's because they release oxygen into the air, isn't it? It is, but they do so much more than that. Really? Yes, they absorb carbon dioxide, provide habitat and food for wildlife and humans, and regulate the water cycle. That is awesome! Yes, that's why it's so important we look after them. Because of the many ways plants help the environment, their importance should not be forgotten. Yes, I agree. Look at all this lovely air. Without plants, humans and animals would have less fresh air to breathe. How exactly do plants freshen the air again, Professor? Well, through the process of photosynthesis, Plants release oxygen back into the atmosphere. That's right. I remember that now. Plants can help mitigate the effects of climate change. How do they do that? Well, one of the biggest environmental issues the world faces today is the burning of fossil fuels, which has resulted in high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. A low climate change is a reality the world must face. Society is still highly reliant on fossil fuels to supply energy needs. But what does that have to do with plants, Professor? Well, plants are actually designed to help us fix this. Terrestrial and oceanic plants are considered carbon sinks because of their ability to store carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. What do you mean? Carbon sinks? They're a type of ecosystem that removes carbon dioxide. I don't think I've heard of them. You will have. Carbon sinks ecosystems include grasslands, forests, tropical rainforests, peat bogs, wetlands, coral reefs, and coastal ecosystems. That is epic! I know they provide us with habitats as well. That they do. They provide habitats for wildlife and humans. Can you think of anything in particular? Yes, what about birds? They rely on trees and shrubs for habitats, whether they live in crevices of trees or build nests on branches. That is a great example, James. Healthy habitats also provide wildlife with roosting cover and shelter from predators. Oh no! That is so sad. Yes, it really is. Unfortunately, habitat loss is considered one of the causes of species endangerment and extinction. Forest ecosystems continually face deforestation in the form of fires, clear cutting for agriculture and ranching, and unsustainable logging. We have to stop doing this. We do! Plants play a pinnacle role in many of the Earth's ecosystems. So their presence is important to ensure wildlife and ecosystem health. They also feed us. They do! 
Since plants are considered primary producers, they play an important role in feeding the Earth's wildlife and humans. Yes, and some animals only eat plants, so they are vital to some species. That's very true, James. Herbivores, such as deer, rely on plants directly to meet their dietary needs. While carnivores, such as lions, feed on animals that also feed on plants for their survival. Omnivores, such as humans, rely on both. We depend on animals directly or indirectly, Dan. Yes, we all rely on plants for sustenance. Plants couldn't possibly do any more for us. Oh, but they do. About 10% of the moisture in the atmosphere is released by plants through the process of transpiration. No way! How do they do that? Plants uptake water through their roots and release water vapor through small pores in the undersides of their leaves. I think I have a faint memory of that process. It's known as transpiration. Through this process, plants also help circulate water from the soil back into the atmosphere. They are so amazing! Not only that, plants help stabilize bodies of water, such as rivers, lakes and streams. Plant roots improve soil stability, prevent landslides, and keep the ecosystems intact. I want to make sure plants are cared for. They do so much for us. We should all be conscious, James. Due to the many ways that plants help humans and the environment, ecosystems and plants need to be protected. During this time of environmental uncertainty, it's important that we do not take their presence for granted. Plants are so important for the environment that I don't want to forget anything we've learned. We should do a recap. Plants are considered a critical resource because of the many ways they support life on Earth. Plants from the ocean are what provide most of the air that we breathe. Habitat loss is considered one of the causes for species endangerment or extinction. Plants uptake the water through the roots and release water vapour through small pores on the underside of their leaves. Carbon sinks ecosystems include grasslands, forests, tropical rainforests, peat bogs, wetlands, coral reefs and coastal ecosystems. We should do a quiz to see what we've learned. Question 1. What is the process by which plants uptake water through their roots and release water vapor through small pores on the underside of their leaves? A. Transfiguration B. Transpiration or C. Transportation Excellent! It's B. Transpiration Question 2. What environmental issues will the burning of fossil fuels cause? A. High levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. B. Mass animal death. Or C. Mass plant death. Well done! It's A. High levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. True or false? Through the process of photosynthesis, plants release oxygen back into the atmosphere. Brilliant! It's true! We're going to try and learn more about how we can help the environment, but we'll see you soon! 
Goodbye. See you soon.